بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن بائی دا گریس آف آل مائی تھی اللہ اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ریڈ یونٹ نمبر ٹو وار اینڈ پیس پیج تھرٹی اینڈ ٹوڈیز ٹاپک از پیپر کرانس آف پیس لیٹس ہیو انٹروڈکشن آف دا لیسن ان ٹوڈیز لیسن ویل ریڈ about origami we'll read about the heroic qualities of sudaku sasaki who was a survivor of world's first bomb blast in hiroshima we'll read about the consequences of atomic bomb in hiroshima what is origami students origami is a japanese art of paper folding It actually began in China but spread to Japan by 6th century. Origamis today experiment with new materials but all origamis abide by the two essential rules of origami. Neither scissors nor glue is to be used. Dear students, the lesson starts with the saying of a Japanese legend. He says that whosoever folds 1000 origami cranes he will live a long life. In the second paragraph we are told about an atrocity of World War II when on 6th of August a B29 bomber dropped world's first atomic bomb on Hiroshima in Japan. Tens of thousands of people were killed instantly by the blast and the death toll rose very high over the following years. Dear students, in paragraph number 3, we are told about a little survivor of that event. Her name was Sadako Sasaki. She was just two years old then. She was practicing for a big race. when she was overcome by dizziness and collapsed. She was found to be suffering from leukemia, cancer of blood. It was considered the direct result of contamination by atomic bomb. This disease was considered fatal those days. It was not curable. But Sudeku was very courageous girl. When she was in hospital, one of her friends told about the saying of that legend who says that whosoever folds thousand cranes of paper, he will live a long life. She started folding the cranes. Her only wish was to live a long life. But when she observed many deaths around her, Due to bomb blast, her desire changed into the wish of peace. Then she wished there would not be any wars, neither adults nor children should ever suffer and die like this again. In paragraph 5, we are told, that she could fold only 644 crayons before she died and the remaining 356 crayons were folded by her family and classmates and those were buried with her. After her death, the youth of Japan contributed money for the project which would ensure that Sadako would never be forgotten. In 1958, a statue of Sadako holding a golden crayon was unveiled in Hiroshima Peace Park. Dear student, in last paragraph we are told that across the road of that statue there is burning a flame of peace. It will be extinguished only when all nuclear weapons have been eliminated from the earth. Let's see the glossary. Surrender, to give oneself into control or power of someone else. Dizziness, 
sensation of instability or vertigo atrocity very cruel or terrible action tremendous notable for power size or excellence extinguished to stop burning dear student let's see the summary origami is a japanese art of paper folding a japanese legend said that whosoever folds 1000 crowns will live a long life on 6th august 1945 a b29 bomber dropped the world's first atomic bomb in hiroshima japan Sadako Sasaki was one of the victims. She was a two years old girl. As a result of contamination of atomic bomb, she developed leukemia, which was not curable at that time. Her friend told her about the saying of Japanese legend, so she kept on folding paper crayons to make her wish of long life come true. She observed many deaths around her in the hospital. Then her wish of long life changed into wish of peace. She could fold only 644 crayons before her death, and the remaining 356 were folded by her family and classmates. A statue of Sadako having a golden crane was unveiled in Hiroshima Peace Park. Across the road, there is burning a frame of peace which will be extinguished when all nuclear weapons will be eliminated from the earth. Students, I'm sure all of you have understood the lesson and you've enjoyed it also. Thank you for being with me. Stay home, stay safe.